Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Conqueror's Blade. So I wanted to revisit the Prefecture Guards today for a couple of reasons. Um, I did a video on them uh, probably a month or two ago now where I found them to be pretty decent but not amazing. But since then I think both I've played them more and I've kind of learned a bit more from other players who have taught me some really good moves. Uh, particularly around sort of making use of my Prefecture Drill a little bit better in terms of making use of Cover Commander better. Uh, which should make them a better unit and I kind of wanted to revisit them give them another try out and see if they can be as good as people are starting to claim they are because some people are starting to say you know they're one of the best leadership cost units for the tier so let's head over to the unit tech tree and take a quick look at them so they are here obviously they are a silver era unit um, I've not got any of the um, upgrades in the tech tree although I don't know just for the honor cost there's actually some really quite nice ones to be having you know things like the health bonus um, I think that'll be a, ultimately for the for the five that'll be a twenty percent bonus to health, um, and when you consider that I'm already up to what, eight thousand seven hundred, you know that's going to be a really it's going to take them probably over ten thousand on their hit points. So that'll be a really nice little boost to their total hit points there. So that might be well worth doing. It's going to make them a really tough unit to kill just from the amount of health they have. I think that that always worth bearing in mind. Then of course when we actually get to the unit itself, there are two tech trees which we can go down. But before we talk about the two options we've got here, it's worth pointing out the main abilities of these guys, uh, which is the main one is Prefecture Drill. It's specific to them, and it basically gives them a massive boost to, boost to their weapon damage and their movement speed for a really short period of time. Um, but, of course, it just does an immense amount of burst damage. It means they can lay down really high amounts of damage really quickly, and it just makes them a super effective unit to use because of that. Um, so, and it's specific to this unit, so it works really well. Combined with the fact that they have this cover commander ability, which makes the unit sort of hover around you. But I think, in effect, the benefit of this, it means rather than just pressing V, where units will then move off into the dribs and drabs and attack and the things that are nearest to them, it means they move as move and attack as one mass when they're in the cover commander onto a target, so it means they're a bit more focused, a bit more concentrated. And then when you combine that with Prefecture Drill, they uh, start to cut things down really, really quite quickly. And then when you consider that they have a good chunk of health, reasonable defense values, and a 1400, well, almost 1500 base slashing value, then it's no surprising that they can deal an immense amount of damage super quickly. Of course, they only cost 180 leadership as well, because they're a silver era unit, and um, kits aren't that expensive to repair. Uh, 1400 for a kit, really not too bad. It means that replenishment rates really aren't that expensive. You're going to be making profits using these guys in siege battles, in my experience. Um, so makes them a really nice all-round unit. So you've got two trees pretty much which seem to be the viable option You know any normal person will rule out this bottom tree, but then you've got the two tree options So I think as an overall balance the top tree is better um, Because it just generally increases things like um, the, just the general damage it Introduces the cooldown of the prefecture guards instantly slashing armor penetrations kind of handy a bit more prefecture damage and then a massive cooldown reduction at the end um, but you do, in this line, you know, you're getting range damage. Again, handy. A um, bit of block increase, but then don't block while attacking, so I don't think that's all that useful. Prefecture cooldown. Uh, you know, then you're getting a little bit of defense stats. Which is, I guess, marginally useful, but not massively useful. Um, but then we're here, we get this three stack of prefecture damage increase, which is a 30% increase, which is the same as these guys, because you get 10 here and 20 there. So you're getting the same 30% just over different parts of the line. And again, we're getting the range damage reduction. But this is the one that makes this line a viable option. Because if it wasn't for this final ability, this horizontal strike, then the top line will be clearly the obvious way to go. But this increases the number of enemies each soldier can attack with a single strike by one. So this means, in effect, that when they swing their swords and there's a group of enemies in front of them, instead of getting one hit, they will now get two hits. And that kind of changes the amount of damage they can do quite drastically, potentially, in some situations when there's multiple enemies in front of them, because obviously they're effectively doubling the amount of damage, because not just hitting once, they're effectively hitting twice, because they're hitting two separate units. So it means they can cut down units pretty quickly in that sort of situation. So that's why it kind of becomes this flip between the two. Uh, I've started going down this line from quite a long time ago when I first got these guys. I've been tempted to reset my veterancy and start hitting down here. I think is what I'm going to do is go along this route to the end, see how I feel about it. I've got some of those skill books I can use to reset it, and then I may end up resetting it and trying it down the middle line, kind of see what that horizontal strikes is like. But either of those lines, I think, are perfectly viable options. It's kind of something up to you to choose from. 
So anyway, I think I've blabbered on more than long enough. So let's hop into a battle um, and kind of see some footage. I've got a couple of different battle footages um, to show you and hopefully at least highlights, at least vaguely kind of how the playstyle with them works. So we are into the first of my clips with these guys and I was thinking here that I wanted to kind of get up onto the walls. I wanted to kind of start pushing them along. I thought if I got into sort of a relatively narrow corridor type situation, these guys might be able to do quite well. So I've got them on my cover commander. So it seems to everyone seems to recommend. Um, I think it's because it gets them to all attack simultaneously rather than sort of a few dribs and drabs going in here and there. So yes, yeah, so I've got them on cover commander at the moment. I'm just sort of working my way along the walls. Nothing really major here, just a few odd units, little hero that's getting cut down. We are taking a bit of fire from behind, but for the moment I hadn't got my um, prefecture drill activated until we got stuck into a more meter group like this. And then I thought, right, time to get this prefecture drill on. And then I'm just trying to get myself stuck in with my pole axe. Use my ultimate. Get that guy knocked down. The pole axe has got a great ultimate um, against that longsword. And just slowly continue the damage. And you see, in the meantime, yes, our unit is taking casualties. But we're racking up a seriously good number of kills. And we're fighting off multiple enemy units, including an enemy spear militia. So I was quite pleased with how they performed in this sort of situation. Because it's just the damage potential that seems to be so good. Even when I'm not really paying them that much attention and they're fighting off two ranged heroes. We're going you know, to continue plinking them, continuing throw damage at, throwing damage at them. Um, then, just as time goes on and on, I find that my health gets pretty low. And that's kind of one loss. I think about trying to push into these ranged heroes, but the problem is I've just not really got the health to do it. Uh, so I send them off on a, my guys off on a charge, and I hope that I was going to clip a few of those ranged heroes. It doesn't really pan out very well for me. Then I get another hero. I was up against four ranged heroes, and it yeah, kind of went the way you'd expect. But I managed to secure sort of 45, 50 kills with those prefecture guards. Uh, I was pretty pleased for that, for what unit they are. And that seems to be my sort of normal game. I've had... Uh, I've sort of played sort of another 10, 15 games with them since uh, revisiting them and have sort of recorded some of those and some of those have just been with friends where I haven't bothered. And generally, I think I seem to average now about 50 kills with these guys. But then I've had some exceptional games where I can get 100 kills, but uh, you know, plus. But then other games I don't. So it's still a little bit mixed, but they seem to be getting that baseline amount of kills. So we get stuck into a situation like this. You see, look how quickly that hero took damage. We didn't actually get the kill because someone just nabbed it right at the end, but... You know, that was all that Prefecture Guard damage. It just does such an immense amount of damage when they get stuck in that sort of situation. Another thing I noticed is that when you activate, activate Prefecture Drill, they just sort of go on a frenzy attack, but it does mean they break their cover commander um, cycle. So it's something to bear in mind. Then afterwards, I seem to have a bit of a habit of forgetting to then put them back into cover commander after I've activated Prefecture Drill. Uh, it's something I need to try and remember to do a little bit more. But in this sort of situation, you know, I'm trying to clear a point. Quite multiple enemies dealing with us, including some other prefecture guards coming down there. Um, I've got them back on their cover command at the moment. But, you know, still, how many have we lost? Two so far. And we've been in the fight sort of probably 30 seconds to a minute now. I think a lot of other units would be struggling and getting quite heavily diminished by this point. And now we're starting to fight two flanks worth of enemies. I've got the enemies coming down the top steps and I've got fresh enemies coming at the bottom. Including enemy heroes, things start to get a little bit difficult at this point. I'm just trying to sort of give our unit, my unit a good chance of maintaining some life. But, you know, just getting a little bit overwhelmed at this point. But we're still racking up an absolute ton of kills against these guys. Against relatively high tier units as well. That's when I think, right, pull back, get myself healed up a little bit. I'm not going to be able to make it out of this one. And thankfully, friendly support turns up. And the long shot is we were able to capture that A point. And we actually went on to win the game. So, uh, yeah, in that sort of situation, I think Prefecture Guards really kind of excel. The amount of kills you can get, the amount of damage they do particularly that prefecture drill because it just gives them such an increase in terms of damage and in terms of movement speed and that damage output and that's just really 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 useful in those sort of spot situations and as you start to get them upgraded the cooldown really isn't that long either so this is kind of an example of one of the ones where i don't manage them properly and then things start to go wrong um, so you'll see here we go up the push up the steps onto this to see platform and i'm then thinking Right, okay, I'd be better off if I went pull back a bit and start to focus a little bit more on points. Because if I just push straight up the stairs at the back, then yes, I guess that's useful, but it's not, not helpful if we don't end up getting the C point, and that's really what I kind of wanted to do. So then I ended up getting a little bit caught on these steps, and then I started thinking the same sort of thing. Why am I going up these steps? We need to be focusing on C. Um, and why would you get, do end up getting that? I then think, right, let's push back around the other way. So I started to try and pull the guys out, but I pull around the corner and I don't uh, activate either cover commander or I don't double press C to get them to come with me. So my guys are still fighting on the stairs. Their prefecture drills probably ran out by this point. 
and now they're just sort of normal units in a loose formation and they're kind of struggling. You see I finally realise and double tap C to get them back but that sort of a um, couple of moments inattentiveness where I'm not really paying much attention or just being a bit of an idiot really um, cost me quite a few units. I could have come out of that with a lot more of the Prefecture Guard still alive I think if I'd been paying more attention. But, so then at this point, I was pretty disheartened. I thought this was going to be sort of a bit of crap footage, which in a way it is. But I think, well, we'll keep the unit going. I could have swapped them out at the, um, at the, the, the point there, at the supply point. But I thought, no, let's just carry on. We'll finish them off as a unit. So I come up to the top. I noticed over uh, to the right, there's some guys set up behind this building. So I thought, well, I'll go around the back, particularly as we've now got troops pushing up the front, kind of fresh troops. So I kind of bring these guys around, put them on cover commander. I noticed they kind of seem to make them get caught on the building a little bit because they see an enemy and they're just trying to straight line to it. So I have to double press C to get them to come around the corner of the building properly. And they do exactly what I want them to do uh, after I activate Prefetch Drill is they just start digging into the back of the shield wall and start to cut it down pretty quickly because they're doing that really good amounts of damage. Plus they're getting bonus damage because they're in the back of a shield wall. Um, and then I throw a few hits in there as well. And uh, that shield wall collapses really dead quick. So even with only seven units I had at that time when I started to attack that, we still able to take down a full shield wall and a full health longsword player, um, not without too much difficulty. So even with a few units, this unit isn't completely out of the fight. Now at this point, yeah, they are they are pretty much out of the fight. There's just not enough of them left to really make any significant difference. But I get in there, I'm kind of just getting stuck into the fight. We're really starting to push on the point with enough people now that I feel confident we're going to win. I pull back to get a heal because uh, obviously we didn't know how long they were going to contest it for, so I wanted to kind of get that healing so I didn't want to die and just throw my, myself away. And we managed to get the kill and secure the victory. So, in a nutshell, that's my experience so far with Prefecture Guards. I think they probably really are one of the best units for tier just because of that damage potential. Prefecture Drill is a seriously awesome little ability. I definitely need to be a little bit more attentive with my micromanagement. Definitely one of my biggest failings, not just with this unit, but with others. Um, but I think learning them a bit more if I keep playing them I think these are going to prove to be one of the best leadership cost units really at this tier just because that damage potential or that burst damage they can do with Prefecture Drill is just so high obviously I've got a little bit more leveling to do with them as well so hopefully that'll help anyway that's all I've got for you today guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have let me know what you think in the comments down below subscribe to the channel for plenty more Conquered Blade content I shall see you all on the next video